Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with pagination and sorting for your resources with Spring ABC application. So let's go to first uh, start.spring.io, your group name, your artifact name, uh, set the build uh, type, uh, programming language, and version so for this project i'm going to use web lombok jpa and h2 so h2 for in memory database uh, lombok for some automated getters and setters let's generate the project extract it in the download open it with your favorite ide i'm going to use IntelliJ So you can use default wrapper or your own wrapper it's up to you <coughs> So while that is happening, make sure you have uh, these two things set up on your project. One is a plugin called Lombok. So make sure you have installed that. I already uh, installed it. So for you, it may show that install. And search for annotation processing. And enable that. Okay, uh, download complete. So we have a simple build file. And in the main, a simple main class. So let's enter the presentation mode so that it can be, uh, the code can be seen more clearly. First, we are going to create a student entity. This is JPA, these are JPA ID, and these three are from Lombok. So what it does is gives me uh, the getters and setters and our constructor and no our constructor without me having to write it all. Next, I'm gonna create a interface to access this uh, repository. And now let's create a uh, REST controller to access this. Inject the repository. And again, with the help of uh, Lombok. I don't need to create the constructor. <coughs> Next, let's simply return the list of students that we are going to insert. Return repository dot find all. So that's it. Now just add the get mapping. It's maybe slash students. So at this moment, we don't have any students, so we are gonna get uh, empty students. So for that, we are, I'm gonna get some student that I have already created uh, that I'm gonna insert at the beginning of the application with a bean. So this bean, uh, which is a type of common blind runner, and using this bean, I'm gonna insert some students so that my database is not empty at the beginning. So now let's run this application. Okay, maybe I have to uh, exit the presentation mode and run it from here for the first time. <coughs> okay, 
let's enter the presentation mode again and Alt 5 to see the console and my application is started now let's go to the browser and go to localhost port 8080 slash students so here all my students are coming that's good but it's giving me all the students uh, I want to uh, specify which student I want uh, maybe every student that has a name start with SA or uh, with full name so let's do that first uh, the searching part so for that I'm gonna expand it and write a method list of student find by name string name and we're gonna call this method from here so by name and we're gonna get this name from request param Just, just send this name and restart the server <clears throat> okay server is started now the problem is this URL doesn't work but if I send the name in the URL it should work but it works if I uh, write the full name but if I just uh, write SA it doesn't work so we need to fix these two things one is we need to be able to get this uh, data like this as well as with name where maybe if I put a every name that contains a uh, I should get those result over here so let's fix that <coughs> so for that we need to write a custom query over here select s from a student s where uh, name like uh, percent percent question mark one so that represent the first parameter in this case name and this name should be optional So it's a Java 8 feature optional and inside the string name now uh, if anything is given uh, that fine but if not so what is uh, the default value the default value I'm gonna put underscore so that it gets all the information so let's restart it start done and if I now refresh then I get some result and if I put set set I get the name uh, if I put like B I get all the name that with uh, starts or ends or has B inside it so that's good but uh, as you can see it's giving me uh, so if I go to this URL uh, it gives me all but we don't want all the information given, all the resource given. We want a paginated information, so maybe uh, five at a time. Imagine in a production server uh, where we have like 100,000 students, we don't want to give all the students like this. So we want to uh, give like five student per call and based on the page request, we want to get like five more, five more, five more like that. So how do we implement that? So for that, it's uh, also simple. Here we have to select page from Spring da uh, Data Domain and add a second argument page able and add it over here new page able sorry page request and within that we can see some parameter like page and size so let's for now uh, return the first page which is denoted with zero 
and the amount of uh, resources we want to return which in case in this case we want to return five so change it to page and restart now if we refresh we only get five so let's get the pretty format of it uh, json online editor and paste it over here as you can see we have five data and some other information like total elements 26 the page number in this case uh, zero uh, total page we have six pages so if uh, we should be able to get like uh, information about page uh, two but we have hard coded the information over here we are always sending page zero so how do we get the page one and two uh, or other pages so it's similar we are going to get that information from the user but in this case it's going to be integer and it's going to be the page and here page and the default value with or else so if nothing is given we are going to send the page zero result otherwise whatever uh, user uh, requests so let's restart the server and see it in action. <clears throat> so normally it works and we can say page uh, one and now we get the six, seven, eight, nine, page two, 11, 12, 13 and so on. Okay, uh, we can also sort this data so now it's uh, not sorted uh, it's just getting by id uh, by default but we can get information by name so let's implement that feature so for that first let's get the sort by parameter it's going to be a string and the name is going to be sort sorry sort by and for that we need to add so we can add like ascending order and uh, the property is going to be uh, received from url with sort by or else and that's going to be so by default i'm gonna order by id or whatever the user sends. So let's restart that. So if nothing is given, it should come by ID and it does. But if we put the sort by with and operator, uh, sort by uh, maybe name, then we see uh, first anik and it's coming as ascending order by name so you can uh, get it with admission areas as well see the result you can see the admission year serially 91 2 3 and so on so that's it that's all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you liked it if you have any question about this video feel free to ask in the comments below uh, the code for this uh, will be posted on github and the link will be provided on the video description so that's it have a nice day bye bye